Namaste friends, welcome everyone. My name is Timia and today is the ninth part of our Yoga for Beginners program. We are going to focus on the back pain. It's going to be a very gentle yoga, so even if you have a chronic uh, pain, if you have herniatic spine or vertebrae, then it is also going to help you to release a little bit of pain, a little bit of discomfort. So first of all, just slowly come into your nice Vajrasana, so sit on your heels, place your hands on your thighs, close your eyes, and just take a few breaths. Observe the lower back and just try to visualize from where that pain is coming from. It is from the lower back, it is from the upper back. Just try to localize the pain. And with the next exhalation, just try to release the tension and the pain from the spine. One more nice long deep breath in. We can circulate the arms above the head gently. And with an exhale again, just release every tension and place the hands close to the body. We're going to do one more like this. Breathe in gently, slowly bring your arms above the head, palms together. And then with an exhale, just bring the hands down to the yoga mat. Now slowly, please come into your Majoryasana, Cat and Cow, or All Four Position. So many names, we call it Majoryasana in the Hatha Yoga. Try to feel that you're engaging your core muscles, so you give the support for your spine by the lower part, by the belly, and then keep the core strong, just a little bit look up, arch a little bit your back, and with an exhale, try to curve your back and feel the sensations that your back is sending to you. And then again, gently and slowly inhale, look up, and with an exhale, slowly again, curve the spine and look down and just feel the sensations that coming from your spine. Try to visualize your spine from the tailbone until you're at last. And then one more time, last time, inhale, arch the back, look up. But arching the back means you keep your core muscles still active and strong. It's gonna help you to avoid to over, overextending your lower back. And with an exhale, just bring your spine back to the center. Slowly with an exhale, try to have that feeling that you want to bring your left shoulder to the left hip joint. So try to bring the hip joint and the shoulder together on the left side. Of course, it's quite impossible, but we just want to have that imagine. <laughs> Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, move to the right. It's very important if you want to release any pain from the body using the yoga asanas that you be very aware of your breath. Inhaling to the center, core muscles are strong. Exhaling to the left. Breathing into the center. Breathing out to your right. And then with an inhale, slowly back to the center. Now we are going to lay down on the belly. So slowly move a little bit forward with your hands. Place the forearms down and then just extend your legs behind slowly. Slowly we're going to do the crocodile pose. Bring your left knee again towards the left side and try to bring your left knee and the left elbow together now this is very much possible and just place your head down look towards the left side 
We're gonna stay here for three nice long breaths. And really feel that you're breathing in deep. And breathing out long. Feel that you breathe into your belly. And you breathe out from the belly. One more time. Breathe into the belly. And breathe out from your belly. Now very slowly and carefully. First just bring your upper body, the chest to the center. And then gently release the leg. No any quick motion. Just try to keep everything done. For a few seconds, place your forehead down to your, to your hands. You can relax here. And again, take three nice breaths here. Keep the forehead. One more breath here and just feel that you're bringing the prana towards the bottom of your spine. And then with an inhale, we're going to go towards the left side. Slowly again, move with your upper body. So give the head by your arms and just bring the right elbow closer as much you can to the right bended knee on the right side. You can place your hands down and just stay here. Feel that you're breathing into the belly. You're lifting a little bit the lower back and breathing out the lower back, falling down. Breathe in deep. Long inhale. You can hold for a second and then breathe out. Release the tension. One more nice breath into the nose. Feel that you're lifting your lower back. And when you exhale, feel that it is relaxing and going down. One more breath. And then very slowly again, first lift the head. Bring the upper body, the chest to the center. And then very slowly, without lifting the right leg, just extend it and place it down. Again, relax a little bit. Place the forehead down to your hands and just stay there for three long breaths. Be sure that your shoulders are relaxed. The whole body is relaxing. Two breaths more. And then the last one. Slowly with an inhale, raise your head up. And then just place your hands under your shoulders. Keep your forearms down. And then bring the feet very much close to each other. And with an inhale, just gently, not too high, not too low. Just lift a little bit the chest up. Stay here. Breathe to the belly three times. One. The baby cobra, two. And the third one. Now move a little bit your hands a little forward and come into your sphinx. So now give the support by your forearms, shoulders away from your ears. And feel that you're tucking the tailbone under the body. So means that you're not allowed the lower back to be hyperextended and the whole pressure from the upper body goes to the lumbar spine. But bring the tailbone under your body. Again, engage the core muscles. You have that feeling that your pubic bones comes close to the chest, chest bone, the sternum bone. And then just feel this lengthening motion on the lumbar spine. 
Breathe in and breathe out. Feel that you're not charging any pressure on the lumbar spine because you're tucking the tailbone under your body. One more nice long breath. And the last one. And with an exhale, slowly move a little bit towards the right, left side and just try to see your left heel from the left side, just kind of above the left shoulder. Two. And one more, slowly back to the center. Take a nice breath. Be sure that you're supporting everything by the forearms and then your tailbone is still under your body. And then with an exhale, move towards the right side. Try to see your right heel above your right shoulder. Breathe in and out, deep and long. That's very important to releasing any kind of pain from the body. Every exhalation we can release the tension. With the next inhale, slowly come back to the center. And with the next exhale, place your chest down to the yoga mat. Hands under the shoulder. Keep your core muscles strong. So feel that you're really very aware of the core muscles, the abdomen muscles. And then from here, we're going to go again into the tabletop position. So release the tops of your feet. Use the knee support. Slowly come all the way up into your tabletop position. Just move a little bit the back side to side. Again, you can curve a little bit and then opening up. Just feel how does it feel now. And then with an inhale, we can raise the right arm up to the sky. Try to open your chest. And with an exhale, let's place this right arm under the body. Look towards the left side and keep the support by the left arm. So keep it now in front of the face. And just breathe in and out three times. Down, deep and down to your belly. Inhale and every exhalation, feel that you're releasing the tension. Every inhalation, you're opening up your nadis, the energy channels. And every exhalation, you're just releasing the toxins, the waste. And every inhalation, you're opening up the body. One more breath here. And out. And then very carefully, with this left arm, push the body all the way up. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, place the right hand down. Of course, we're going to do the same with the other. Breathe in, raise the left arm up. Open the chest as much as you can. With an exhale, bring this left arm under your body. Give the totally support by the right arm. So keep the right hand in front of your face. And again, just visualize the prana. You're bringing the prana down into your muladhara chakra. And every exhalation, release the tension from the whole spine, from the whole back. Inhale, feel that you're opening up the body. And breathe out, feel that you're relaxing the body. Only one nice and deep breath more.
Very good. Now again, be very aware. Keep the support by the right arm. Inhale gently. Slowly open your chest. And with an exhale, place the hands in front. Now slowly roll your knees a little forward towards the top of the yoga mat. Cross your ankles behind and very gently just sit down. Place the sole of your feet down. Release the forearms. And then just move a little bit your knees left to right, right, to left. Just observe again the back, the lower back. And now, if you have a brick or a little pillow, I prefer the brick. And if you want to continue your <laughs> yoga journey, I would suggest you buy one, this, the wood one, not the soft one. This nice and hard wood. So slowly bring the feet close to your seat bones. And with an inhale, lift your buttock up. Engage the gluteus muscles. Place this little brick down with the lower part. And place it just under your sacrum. And then gently one by one relax and release your arms so feel you maybe you can also bring a little lower the brick so feel this nice relaxation and kind of stretching out motion from your lower back by the support of the brick and we're gonna stay here if you have any knee issue then just place another booster or pillow under your knees so this is gonna give the support otherwise just stay here you can also bring the arms above the head be very aware of your breath long deep breath in and long deep breath out Feel the tension goes out from the body. Feel your lower back becoming relaxed. Feel the space that you can create between your vertebrae. This space is very important because this is how the prana can flow in our body through the spaces. Bringing nutrition and releasing the waste from the tissues. Try to visualize your lower back, the lumbar spine as a healthy, strong lower back. Just feel that it is the same like when you were young strong and flexible at the same time i mean when you were were kids we all young still but when we were kids just visualize and feel the same sensations your lower back your spine is strong and flexible at the same time only one more breath stay here this breath is going to be deep and long. Hold for a second and then breathe out through your mouth. <sighs> Just let it go. Now place your arms back to the uh, yoga mat. Just close to the sides of the body. Bring the feet again close to your seat bones. Sole of the feet down. With an inhale, squeeze your gluteus muscles and slowly, just a little bit, lift your buttock up. Take the brick out. Stay here for three breaths. Feel that you're contracting the gluteus muscles. You again, keeping everything strong. Two. And 
the third one very slowly see lift the heels up come on to the tippy toes and then from the back side of your back so from the upper back slowly release vertebra by vertebra release your spine to the yoga mat the last is your lower back the lumbar spine the sacrum heels goes down to the floor and then just gently extend your legs again for three breaths just observe feel the sensations of the back the spine today we were focusing more on the lower part of your spine the lumbar spine so just feel and visualize that relax with each and every exhalation even during the day be very aware of keeping the core strong because that can save your lower back inhale one more time deep and long hold for a second and again through your mouth and just release the tension now slowly start to move a little bit your toes move a little bit your ankles Move your fingers, your wrist. Move your head gently left to right. And then with an inhale, gently stretch your arms, your legs, point your feet. Keep the belly in. Try to place your lumbar spine down to the yoga mat. And then just slowly one by one you're going to bring your legs to the chest really one by one gently no need to bring too much the knees to the chest lift the head all the way up just stay here a little bit but feel that you're not forcing the lower back you're using the core shoulders away from your ears and then very slowly turn to the left side of your body use the support of your right arm and very very slowly just come all the way up into any comfortable cross-legged pose or you can sit with your straight legs as well so now just for a second observe your back observe the lower back Take a few breaths here. Just bring the chin to the chest gently. And then let's do only one nice circumduction towards the right side. And if you feel good, then let's do one to the left side as well. Inhale, slowly raise your arms up to the sky and with an exhale bring your palms close to the heart so be very careful during the day because sometimes even the most simplest situation can create pain in the body if we are not aware of our body so during the day always always be aware of your breath and once you are aware of your breath of each and every of your breath that means that you are in the present moment fully aware and then you are not gonna hurt any of your body parts or your not even any of the part of your life because you are in the present moment focusing on what you are doing so then nothing bad can happen hope you enjoyed and if you have any comment any question then please uh, leave a comment of course if you haven't subscribed yet please do that for more videos like this I wish you a very nice rest of your day. <laughs> Namaste. Thank you for watching.